Welcome back. It is the Real Estate with Axe podcast. This is episode 12. We're covering four things today. We're going to make this an expedited, quick episode. The first thing is inventory. We're going to do a quick checkup on that, see the week over week changes, as well as comparing it to 2022 data. The second thing is the percentage of homes that are above a million dollars on a national level. That percentage, I think, may surprise you. Uh, third, we're going to look at interest rates and how they've changed this last week and also comparing them to the record high we had in 2022 and see where we're measuring up today. And lastly, the one that I'm really excited to chat about is Warren Buffett made a huge bet over $800 million in a particular aspect of the real estate sector. We're going to get to that last, so stay tuned. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so first topic is the weekly inventory change. So we went from about 487,000 units available nationwide, now up to about 492,000 units. That's a 5,000 unit difference. Uh, Same week last year, we saw a 7,000 unit difference going from 543 to 550. Uh, The inventory bottom for 2022 was 240. The inventory peak of 2023 so far is 492,000. That's right now. And for context, active listings this week in 2015 were just over 1.2 million. So again, 1.2 million available units in 2015 and 492,000 right now in 2023. Let's jump over to new listings this week in comparison to the past couple years. So 2023 new listings this week, 60,759. 2022, 70,384, and 2021, 79,184. So you see those continued differences. All right, so second topic is home values. So we're looking at the overall uh, values of homes around the country, as well as the percentage of homes that are measured above $1 million. And so as of right now, early August of 2023, I had to think about the month, we are just over 8% nationally of homes worth more than $1 million. And that is just below our all-time high of last year in June of 2022 at 8.6%. So we are creeping closer to that all-time high again. So when we look at total worth of US real estate, starting from January 2000 to now in 2023, we see this chart starting at $10 trillion and we're currently at 46.8 trillion. Let's just think about that number for a second. That is insane in 20 years, 23 years. Home values for millennials, we just surpassed the silent generation. This is a chart that I'll throw in the YouTube video uh, that basically speaks to baby boomers, Gen X, and millennials, and the total amount of home value that each generation is currently in ownership of. We'll definitely see this shift over the next 10 to 15 years uh, as baby boomers begin to pass away and those real estate values will shift down to millennials and to Gen Z. Uh, So that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, Homes worth between 250,000 and 750,000 saw the biggest jump in value over the last 12 months. We've seen a 4.1% year over year uh, appreciation amongst homes between 500,000 and 750,000. Uh, and those between 250,000 and 500,000 also saw a 4% gain. Where we've seen some depreciation is between the $2 million and $5 million markets. Uh, they've dropped about 7.4% in value over the last 12 months. And homes between one and two million saw about a 2.6% decline. Remember, this is national data. So not exactly what we're seeing here locally in San Diego. That said, This is from a national perspective. Um, Home values actually held better or held up better in suburbs than they did in urban areas. Uh, The total value of homes in urban areas fell just under a percentage point of 0.9% year over year to $10.2 trillion in June. Meanwhile, the value of homes in suburbs rose 0.2% to $29.1 trillion and the value of homes in rural areas increased 2.6% to 7.4 trillion. So we're seeing a continued trend, at least over the last 12 months, of people not looking to live on top of one another, not like me, I'm in a high rise in downtown, and more so wanting a little bit more room, a little, maybe a little bit more lot size. Uh, so that's very interesting. 
All right, third thing is interest rates. So we're looking at the 30 year fixed rate today. This is from mortgagenewsdaily.com. Uh, it's currently at 7.26%, and that is down from our 7.37% percent high in 2022. So while we've been, you know, gradually increasing the last several months and kind of floating right around 7%, at least we are not to that high yet of last year. And that really was the high percentage point for many years now. So um, we're still floating around seven. We'll continue to watch that. I think with the good news we continue to get with inflation reports, uh, we should see that number start to come down. And our last topic pertains to Mr. Buffett. Warren Buffett invested $814 million across three different home builders this last week. So we've got Lennar, DR Horton, and NVR. This is very interesting because home sales as of right now, 25% of all of them nationwide are new construction. Most of these new construction homes are the most approachable for a first time home buyer uh, or people just looking to get into the real estate market. Uh, they also, these builders are able to offer buy down rates uh, to incentivize even more buyers to go their way. So that way the mortgage payment that, you know, first time home buyer would be making would be even lower than what they're expecting. And so Mr. Buffett is betting on the fact that that 25% number will grow. And just to kind of piggyback on that data, this last week we've seen that new home mortgage applications are up 35.5%. So while, you know, when people say there's blood in the streets, uh, that's when you should be buying assets, that's when you should be investing. That is, uh, you know, an adage from Mr. Warren Buffett. And so what he's seeing right now is you know, the housing market is in a uh, tough spot. Our inventory levels are at all time lows uh, and no one's really selling their home because of their interest rate that they're currently holding at 3% or somewhere around there. And so the only place where uh, opportunity really is showcasing itself for the majority of buyers around the country is new construction. He's leaning into that. So it's pretty interesting to see uh, how those bets will pay off for him. I'm assuming they'll pay off very well as the majority of his bets do. Uh, so that's it for today. So what we're going to do moving forward is Thursday episodes are going to be expedited to the point, just hitting you with facts. And on Mondays, that'll be the Mad Axe Mondays uh, episodes. I'll be rambling a little bit more, diving a little bit deeper into context, uh, showcasing more data and being a little bit more long winded. So those will be the differences in the episodes. Thursdays and Mondays. So look out for those. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later. Peace.